In this lesson, we're going to talk about antibody structures, and we've got a super easy and unforgettable way to remember them. It's easy. All you got to do is stand up and make a big Y with your arms above your head. Congrats, you're an antibody. If you're in the library, don't worry. Public embarrassment makes memories last forever. Anyway, before this gets too weird, let's get back to the troop training ground to discuss the structure of antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins. These are a key member of your body's arsenal to defend against invaders. All right, to start, let's check out these B archers and talk about where we'll find antibodies. Here you'll see that we've got two different styles of archers. The first has a ton of antibody arrows stuck in his quiver to represent bound antibodies. These can be found on B cell surfaces where they function essentially as antigen receptors. And then contrast that with this other bee archer who's letting their arrows fly far out into the air. This represents secreted antibodies, which are found far and wide in extracellular fluids, where they recognize and attack pathogens, kind of like targeted arrow missiles. So that's where antibodies can be found, but let's talk a little bit about their physical structure. And if you're wondering why we want to talk about the physical structure, well, the answer can be variable. <laughs> That joke's gonna be funny in a minute. So first off, as we discovered in our pre-sketch yoga, antibodies are generally Y-shaped, which is why our battle formation here is also Y-shaped. An antibody is made up of four polypeptide chains in two identical sets, just like these soldiers. Each identical set has a heavy chain and a light chain. So that's two heavy chains and two light chains, or four chains in total. These heavy battle chains in the center symbolize the heavy chains that form the overall Y shape of an antibody. And then on the outside arms of the Y, we have these light chain male troops that represent light chains. And just like soldiers work together within their units, these heavy and light chains unite to form an antibody and fight off infection. 